Charles Hill responsible for separating blood plasma, letting you know your blood type. If he wants to explore the five new places on this planet, now that we travel to other planets, will he identify him? You've never heard of Thomas Hinton and Matthew Perry, who in 1866 discovered the North Pole. That date, 1866, is significant. Slavery had just ended June 19, 1865. For them to be able to make a trek to the North Pole and make it to 1866 means that they started planning their trek before slavery was officially over. If he wants to create something that we use every day, we read from it, write upon it, carry our groceries in it, wrap packages with it. George Washington coffee. Paper from peanut shells, cardboard from peanut shells, peanut butter. Each one teach one according to your knowledge. Frederick Douglass, or the slave escaped the runaway slave, taught himself to read and write, became an abolitionist, leading out to abolish slavery, ambassador to hate, created and founded the first black newspaper North Star. A runaway slave became a politician. Today that's equivalent to me escaping prison and then running for a public office. Vote for me. Different circumstances, of course. Slavery was a blemish on American history. I applaud anyone who attempted to succeed. But if you did, they would search for you, hunt for you, and if they caught you, they'd either kill you or bring you back to the plantation. Well, if you escape prison today, what will happen? They will search for you, hunt for you, and if they catch you, they either kill you or bring you back to prison. The difference being, those of us whose ancestors were enslaved committed no crime. The crime was committed upon them. Stolen from their own lands, their property, their way of life, their families, stripped from their languages, spiritualities, and religions, forced upon ships and stacked like wine bottles, head to foot, head to foot. If a thousand were shipped, maybe 700 would make it, meaning the other 300 became shark bait. Sharks learned to follow the ships, going to a land they knew nothing about, and considered an animal, three fifths human, three fifths. Fraction well, if you're not five fifths human, you're a subhuman. Fraction was so that those who are three black men would take two of them to make one seven, eight, And that continued eight, until eight, after eight, the Emancipation F Proclamation. The 13th and 14th Amendment stated no longer property, no longer to grand slave, no longer available to the port authority bus terminal. This is an accessible station. The elevator is at the center of the platform. According to your knowledge, give thanks and praise. Again, my name is Bob. I teach drum and drum culture. Study ethnomusicology at the University of Hawaii. I'm a teacher for an after-school program. The program is called New York and Richmond Group. Performed for Mark Morris Dance Studios and for the same instructor at Tisch. Those of you who have Netflix, if you saw Spike Lee, she's got a habit. First season, second episode of the 10 Bar Series you saw in the God bless you. Hopefully those listening learn. God bless up with us. King, raise them well. Yes, definitely. Hold them down, brother. If you don't know your history, you don't know your history.